You're such an asshole. All right. Uh, it just keeps coming. <laughs> I increased prices a significant amount, and and it hasn't done anything. Uh, Cap, I'm returning client. I'm a 20 year old from Florida who has own has his own business with a network worth of $60,000 after taking your advice and just taking school part-time to focus on my business. I'm proud to say that revenues have gone up immensely. Our minimum for the day is 400. Well, it's not, that's revenue. That's great, but it's not, that's, did it, is that profit? Is that take home or what do you got for, for expenses? I have a hundred thousand dollars in all my assets and, and expanding aggressively. Well, don't, you know, have to expand for expansion shape, uh, sake. just, Make sure you're making a good profit. That's all. Uh, the problem that I seem to be having is with my peer group. All right, so you are 20 and you run your own business. And you're wondering why 20-year-olds are not at your level. <laughs> I have problems fitting in being one of the only conservative young white males that cares. Hey, don't. It's, okay, guys, it doesn't matter what your race is. All right, like, I'm a black male. I'm a Hispanic female. It doesn't matter. We're all up shit crick together, all right? Especially if you're not a Marxist, okay? You could just say, I'm a not leftist person. And it's like, yeah, okay, we got the problems. Unless your question was like career-wise, maybe about affirmative action, then I could see why you might mention it. But um, it it has it, the fact you're conservative and you're hardworking at 20 makes you already alienated from your peer group, regardless of what you know ethnicity or, or race it might be. Uh, the only conservative white male that cares to stay in shape and doesn't care about leftist propaganda that only favors those in positions of power. It's not even that I necessarily want to fit in. It's just that it bums me out that most of my time is spent either working. This includes stuff like the gym school or educating myself in other areas or just sleeping because I work long hours and the people that do want to hang out, just want to drink and do drugs. I'm not about that. I can barely find any girls because all they seem to be because they all seem to be rage-induced libtards who only care about Biden and, Biden and climate change. My question to you is, how would you recommend that a young man like me cope with all this, being so successful at a young age? How do I cope with the emotions of being an outsider in a world full of conformists and commies? You helped me out last time. I bet you can do it again. Yeah, I can. It, it, it's not going to be. All right, here's the thing. To this day, I don't have anyone I still hang out with when I was 20, except for my buddy Khan. And he's my best friend. And, and my other buddy, Aaron, also girl Aaron. Uh, she lives over in Milwaukee. Uh, the vast majority of people, 99.9% .9 of the people I hung out with in my 20s are gone. Not that they're dead or I didn't like them or anything, but life just pulled them in different directions. And I do even remember being a younger man and being many times the odd man out where I'd be the only, frankly, educated economist or informed economist or informed person in the room. And I, of course, I was a Nazi because anyone who advocates lower taxes or uh, 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 term limits obviously is a Nazi. He's practically Hitler. Uh, and this is just the consequence of you being a 20-year-old man. Uh, these kids are fresh out of... K through 12, but now they're also in college. They think they know everything. They've had nothing but a consistent diet of Marxist leftist, leftist thought. Uh, they don't go beyond stage one thinking of, would it be nice to help everybody? Let's make free everything, but not me pay for it. Uh, and what I would say to you is like, I'm, I'm sorry uh, that your social life is suffering because you're unique. Uh, but these people were never going to be part of your life long-term anyway. And whereas at the same time, I'm also not for you like abandoning and not having fun with 27. If there's a party, you get invited to a party. You think there's going to be a cute girl there? Go there, man. There's a nightclub you want to check out? Go to the nightclub, but have no expectations. It, and, and here's, if it makes you feel any better, it's not you, man. It really isn't you. It's the fact you're 20. And every Gen Z retard out there has been brought up on a steady diet of socialism good, conservatism bad. And oh, by the way, if anyone advocates lower taxes, they're a whatever, racist, sexist, Nazi, fascist. Because uh, what? You want, it? <laughs> you want freedom? What? And you understand that. It's not that, not that hard of a concept to get. Um, but it's not you. 
And so what I would do is still go out wherever you can, but eliminate, not, not reel back, eliminate your expectations. These people are not going to be part of your life. Here's another thing you're going to have to get used to, all right? You're incredibly successful for 20. You're an entrepreneur. You're making good money, I, I think. I haven't seen your, your profit and loss statement, but I'm presuming there's profit there if you're expanding. You think these people even are aware of what that is? You think they can even associate or understand what you go through running a business, setting up an LLC, getting insurance, making sure employees, all that other stuff? These people still live at home. If they don't live at home, they're living off the government tit or their mom and dad's tit. And I, I'm sorry. You know what? It sucks to be successful. It sucks. I mean, to be successful is fun. I mean, I'm not terribly successful, but, you know, obviously I'm self-employed. Uh, but you seem to be doing much more. You have a real job. You have a real business. I don't have a real business. Uh, but it sucks, man. You know why? Because it's lonely. Because everyone's a normie, conforming, inferior piece of shit. Ooh, wow. You're a 21-year-old girl who who's for socialism in Biden bucks? Tell me more. And you thinking that there's something wrong with you or thinking there's a solution to this, that's that's the wrong way to go about it. There is no solution. You just get older. And then you find a handful of really great people, uh, if, if you're lucky. I do mean a handful, no more no more than five. I, I mean, find as many as you can, but you're in, who like understand, oh yeah, entrepreneurship, hard work, self-supportation, freedom. It doesn't even have to be, you don't have to be politically aligned even. They're just like, well, that's pretty cool, man. You do but yeah, most really other 20 year olds want to just go get drunk and do drugs. I never thought about that. No kidding, really. And so you're just going to have to realize you're smarter than the average bear. And you're a freak. You're a freak. What you got to read? Hang on. Do I got it here? Do I got the book? Get this book, Curse of the High IQ. Maybe, maybe you're not a genius, but you certainly are statistically aberrant. You're the freak. Calling all freaks. I mean, you're you're the statistical oddity. And people are always going to dismiss you as like, oh, you work too hard, or why don't you loosen up? We can't all be you. All these, not even platitudes, uh, lies, insults, normally conforming, inferior, inferior people tell superior people, like, we can't all be you. Like, actually, yeah, you could. You just have to get off your ass and work. Uh, but, you know, th then you're an Easter and ism. Uh, you know, how do I cope with all this being so successful at a young age? How do I cope with the emotions of being outside the world? You don't, you don't, you, okay, you cope. That's what you do. You just cope. Uh, but you, the first thing to do is eliminate any expectations you have of young people in general, getting their heads out of the ass and even understanding, let alone appreciating what you've done. And another thing I'll add, and this is very important. I wouldn't tell anyone you run a business because now, see, and it's, it, might, it may be too late, but I, you cannot tell someone you run a successful business. Don't tell anyone that you have the successful, especially girls. Do not tell them that because now you don't know who your real friends are. Like, is this, are these guys just hanging out with you because they know that you make, you know, whatever, $200 a day profit? I don't know what, what $200 a day profit? That'd be a lot. Pretty good profit, actually. I'm thinking 200, is that 60? 70,000 a year. Um, don't tell anyone. Yeah, I just, I work at the machine shop. Yeah, I'm just their employee. You get an LLC, you get some, go talk to a lawyer, get a protection trust, something to protect your ass. Get an, um, do you have an umbrella insurance policy, a business umbrella insurance policy? Do you got that? Get that stuff done. And you don't tell anyone that you make money you don't tell because not only is it is, is it the risk they don't care i mean they care if you make money well he's got money who who and you you know those aren't your real friends but no girl's going to be impressed i mean what do you you do a um it's not a sexy business but you but the profitable is uh, profitable businesses are not sexy they're your, your bread and butter and and you make good money Tradesmen are kind of the same way. It's like, well, it's not sexy being an HVAC guy, but if you do it right, you can you can almost make six figures. It's very profitable. Girls are not going to see, you are not going to impress any girls with the type of business you're in because it doesn't matter how many zeros you bring home every day. 
it's what what kind of business is it? And since your business is not sexy, there is no advantage in telling these girls you run a business. None. And I would not tell any young 20-something year old, 20-year-old that I ran a business either or had any money. And that's that's your life, man. Welcome to the world of suck. Welcome to the 1099 superior race. Welcome to the curse of the high IQ. I wish I could say, oh yeah, do X, Y, and Z. And then you're going to have like purpose and meaning and fun in life. No, you are a statistical freak. You are a weirdo in a good way. I mean, it's, it's a, you're on the right side of the bell curve, <laughs> but you're still rare and odd. And so few people have the intelligence, let alone the work ethic, let alone the critical thinking skills to appreciate what you do, especially at your age. And since you are so young, all I would do, just work your job, go to your parties, shut up. Don't tell anyone what you do. I mean, you could tell them, oh, yeah, I work at this place. But you're an employee. You're not the owner. And as time goes on, and dude, it won't be at least until you're 30. Are you going to start running into like, you know, maybe go to some business meetings. Uh, not business meetings, but uh, uh, you like meet up with business groups, you know, entrepreneurs of America or whatever. You know, find some older guys, go to the cigar lounge, go to the gun range. I think that's where you're going to find some purpose and meaning and maybe some camaraderie. But you're, I know you're 20, but you're basically a 40 year old mind and a 20 year old body. Uh, and your peers are not even going to be able to recognize you, let alone associate with you. So I would go and find older men to hang out with. You could go the Masons, the Eagles Club, um, uh, the OOFs, I-O-O-F, International Order of Oddfellows. Um, maybe find some older guys there, but I have a feeling if you're running your business, you probably won't have all that much time. But that's where you're going to find your peers. And, and maybe, no guarantee, maybe your intellectual equals. Maybe. Certainly... And don't expect them to be your work ethic equals either. So, I, you know, the, the young entrepreneurs club, fuck the young entrepreneurs, go find the old entrepreneurs. Because young entrepreneurs are all like Andrew Yang. I got my parents' money. I'm starting a nonprofit world. Oh, can't just try. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, Andrew. <laughs> hey, the bearded nomophilist. Nemo for five bucks, get yourself a paddle for the canoe ride up Shit Creek Cap. Alternatively, maybe get a Cusano M1 instead. I'm, I took three days off. Oh, God. I'm, you guys know I did what? 12, 13 videos today? Still got more to do. Chris is black for two bucks. Man, things are looking explosive later wait hey chris i never got the email i, I emailed you back from asshole consulting send me the pictures to attach them i know when you fill out the form you can't just send an attachment but i emailed you back so you should be able to respond to that directly i do want to see those tornado pictures that'd be great or even a link like if you put them up on youtube or something that'd be great cabragoon cabulous for two bucks we aren't perfect but you're perfectly appreciated i <laughs> nobody's perfect and i am very thankful some of you guys think I do something good. <laughs> if you only knew the dark side, if you only saw the skeletons. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's good on the, I mean, it, it's like, it's like I present myself to my ma. She thinks I'm a great kid. It's like, no, nah, I'm really not. No, really not, ma. Love you. He's such a good boy. And my mom doesn't sound like that. Uh, Fred Freeman, solid two bucks. I'm up to 12 pull-ups. I'll be let a like. I'll be a nine like Vlad suit. Vlad, Vlad Elkums is also working out regularly. Yep, I got up to 12 pull-ups myself. Are you doing these or these? I'm doing the cross ones like this. So I admit that's not as powerful as doing these, but it's easier than doing those. But I wanted to get my, my biceps built up. Unifrog, 10 Australian dollars. I got my first ever phone call from my mother. She called me to ask to pay the debts of an uncle I don't know. Keep your wealth private, guys. Do not tell anyone you got money. Don't tell anyone. Not even if you're like, you don't even have to have money. Just more successful than the other guy. 
You know, I, I remember I was, dude, I was down and out. I was working security and my roommate was always begging for money. I'm like, dude, I don't make that much money, but I made more than him. And he was a pothead. So he, of course, had like, well, it's pretty, you know, you got both your parents still alive. I'm like, well, yeah, that's not my fault. Would you like it? I bump them off. What? Get off your ass. Go do something. Fred Freeman Sowell, two bucks. How do I get the conservative girls in Chicago? We already saw, I, I found that, the Republican Women of Chicago Association or that group. Uh, and there are five good looking 55 year old plus ladies in that organization for you, Fred. I'm sure, they'd love to see you and Vlad Elkums. They'd love to get Marcus Brown in there, get a little coffee in the cream. All right. We get maybe nonstop Trey. I shouldn't pick on those women. They look like perfectly wonderful women. I, I'm sure they would like to have, I, if anything, I guarantee you they'd love to have younger women be in the but. I mean, what do, what do older Republican women say to the younger girls? Like, uh, no, it's not about patriarchy, and maybe you should fall in love. Is that what? The goddamn bacon over at thegoddamnbacon.com. 223, just woke up. What I missed? Nothing. We've just been banging out asshole consulting all day here today. Fred again for, oh, no, I already did that one. Fred for two bucks dating profiles. I sent you nine Cappy original. All right. Fred, you're going to have to pay me, man. Although I guess I do owe you for the work you did. I, I'm so. It's like I took three days off and I just. I didn't even take three days off. I interviewed Donovan Sharp. Went on John Fitch's show. I think I may take an entire month off where there's like no work. None. Just, I'm gone. I'm I'm done. You won't even see me. Let the heat of uh, Dr. William H. Cosby Jr., E.D. Cope, I've just got the drink for you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> is the, is the, uh, is Fat Albert ever shown anymore on TV? Do people show that anymore? It was a good cartoon. Filmation. Tai Huan Do for two bucks. Hate has made you powerful, Cappy Darkside. Yes, it has. But you get enough hate, then you kind of want the good side of the force. What you find out is evil people will fuck themselves over. That's really what you find out. They will uh, they will destroy themselves. Uh, Joseph Jones, again, our younger version of Kevin Samuels for five bucks. Only thing worse than a stock market crash is divorce. Lose half your money and wifey's still around. <laughs> it's good. That's good, Joe. <laughs> uh. Your wife is still around. That's good. Uh, Fred, for two bucks, I matched with two conservatives on Bumble yesterday. All right, good. Are they really conservatives? Or they just say they're conservatives. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. More on the way. See you guys later. Toodles.